Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back then. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. You have to go back. My family's back there. Hey, you gotta listen to me. There's a herd coming. A massive one. And yeah, we... and that's why we're driving away from it. Please, just... Stop, all right? You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Please. I just... I need help. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Okay. Now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. You're a kid. Whoa, wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Put it back. Now. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Good. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Come on. You must trust me at least a little. We're here, aren't we? I trust that if I don't get a van at the end of this, you'll regret it. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Well, thanks for not killing me, Clementine. Don't thank me yet.
get it done. Look, you don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. If you give me a weapon, we can protect each other. I give you a weapon, I can't take my eyes off you. At least this way I know what I'm up against. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Usually, it's just me on my own. Apology accepted. I wasn't apologizing. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Gabe and Mariana are tough kids. They learned how to survive on their own. You seem to know a thing or two about that. Yeah. Well, how about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. Can you do that? Please? Fine. Whatever you say. Thank you. Don't make me regret this. Come on! Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. I don't start trouble. I finish it. Okay, Captain Big Nuts, we get it. But I catch wind of you finishing anything while you're in town, and you're finished. Now piss off. I got shit to do. Jesus. Tell me about it. Well, welcome to Prescott.
It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. Not exactly an option this time, though. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... they're still out there. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure, you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Chess. Not really my game. I think Gabe used to play, though. Excuse me. Ah, oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. The past is the past. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. Hmm, fold. Doesn't feel right. Mm, I go with your gut. Fold. Now that's a shame. Let's see how it could have gone. You folded that. <laughs> Unbelievable. God damn it. Shit, sorry. <laughs> Talk about dodging a bullet. Thanks for folding. Can't afford to lose anymore. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Cause I don't scare easy, alright? Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him, he's not even nervous. <gasps> I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, I'm fucking believable. Look out! Uh, 
Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You done enough talking. Did he die? Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? She was just demonstrating that the bullets he sold her were faulty and the gun went off. What are you doing? All right, outside. You and me are gonna have a little talk. I'm telling you, he stop. was- Stop, just stop talking. And you, thanks for being straight with me. Go find Eleanor, she'll fix you up till her trip sent you. Now move it. All right, all right. Here you go. Try and get some rest, okay? Thanks, Eleanor. Ugh, that looks like a nasty cut. Oh, that must have hurt. Well, you've come to the right place. I could use a doctor. You know one? I'm not a doctor, but these days, EMT is the best you're gonna get. Have a seat. I'll take a look. My name's Eleanor. Javier. You call me Javi. A little lower and you might have lost an eye. And that is not something you want to mess around with. Well, uh, you know, thanks for doing this. I appreciate it. I wasn't getting any rest tonight anyway. Might as well keep busy. But I appreciate the thank you. <clears throat> so, I have to ask. Is it true? What's that? I heard you were with that girl, Clementine. Who put a bullet in some guy's brain over in the hangar. Don't act so surprised. News travels fast around here. Yeah, you heard right. That was me. Nothing like making new friends, huh? Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? I've never understood it. All right, I'll stop giving you a hard time. Look, I know you didn't pull the trigger, but that girl, Clementine, there's something cold behind her eyes. I don't know. Maybe she's just a scared kid. I don't really know much at all. We just met a few hours ago. Hmm. Way I heard it, you two were pretty chummy before things got all out of hand at the hangar. She's helping me find my family. We were attacked earlier this evening. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. For family to make it this far? Not everybody gets that. If we're being real about it, I fucked up. I fucked up bad. I left them on their own. Let go of me! There you go. Trip, what's going on? Clementine and I had a little talk. He's letting us leave once the herd passes. Oh, I'm gonna do more than that. I'm gonna hightail you two to that junkyard myself. Because frankly, I don't want her anywhere near this town. We'll leave sometime tomorrow, when it's safe. You two can spend the night here in the infirmary. I'll see you in the morning. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. 
We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. All three of us. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. If your family does need help, I'll be right there to give it. Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. Whoa, wait a second. Why are you helping me? It's just... It's the right thing to do. Huh. Never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah. She's... She's something. The thing is, I still trust Trip more than I trust her. But hey, it's your call. Once we get to the junkyard, I get my van and we go our separate ways. We're leaving tonight. With Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. You know... When you're out on your own, you can never really let your guard down. I was expecting you to defend me. Instead, you threw me under the bus. You basically sold me down the river earlier. I'm not apologizing for that. You killed a man. You were out of line. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Just goes to show you, you can never really count on anyone else. Clementine, I... <sighs> I'm done talking. Doctor Lady said she'd be a while, and I want to catch as much sleep as I can. Good night. <laughs>